When fans don't get tickets to the Principality Stadium, pubs like this are the next best thing. And if last month's noise was anything to go by, then the prospect of a Grand Slam could bring the house down. The manager of the Philharmonic pub in the city centre is bracing himself for exactly that, ready to pour around 30,000 pints on what will be one of the busiest days of the year. Days like this are why I'm still doing the job because it's, it's such a buzz, such a lift. I mean, the staff will work, some of them will work 16, 18 hours tomorrow. You know, it's a heck of a long day. But you do it for the enjoyment, you do it for the, for the crack, as the, uh, as the saying goes. All being well, it's when the game finishes that the saying good crack will really come alive. At around 4.30 tomorrow, 75,000 hungry rugby fans will pour out of the stadium, which is just a few hundred metres round the corner, and they'll come onto Caroline Street, which is otherwise fondly known as Chippy Lane. They send us uh, 50 boxes, and the other 50 boxes come and leak on these water areas. So how many kilos of chips you, will that be over oh, the course of tomorrow? Yes. Uh, I. It's going to be a few hundred kilos, few hundred kilos. With more than a quarter of a million people expected in Cardiff, it's not just the chip shops which will be busy. The city's public transport will be stretched, made even more challenging by the forecast of severe gales and rain. So any disruption will have a knock-on effect to how quickly we can move people. So we'll be monitoring that throughout the day and we've got lots of plans in place to minimise the impact of the weather and hopefully it'll pass without any problems for us. Man, Ireland. At the airport today there were no such concerns as fans from Dublin touched down dreaming of an upset. It's just the atmosphere, it's the crowd, it's the people, it's the, yeah, it's the Welsh. The atmosphere, rugby passion, uh, everything that goes with the day, that's going to be a great day. The atmosphere here is just absolutely fantastic, it is, it's, we've been here a couple of times now at this stage, it's just brilliant, it's exciting. Ireland are not necessarily in the front line to, to win tomorrow, but obviously we, if Wales win, it won't be the worst disaster. Obviously, we want the English not to win totally, so it's a win-win for us either way, Like so we're looking forward to it. Well, I couldn't have put that better myself. But whatever the outcome and whatever the weather, you can be sure by this time tomorrow, the atmosphere in this city will be truly special. Max Walsh, ITV News, Cardiff.